All right, so now the radiator is out. 50 year old Swedish radiator. So the new radiator that I'm gonna put in is a very nice and small aluminum radiator, which is originally meant for a Honda or Acura um, I believe the actual spec is a uh, 97 Civic or Integra. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's see what's gonna take to get that sucker in. So uh, now that the original radiator is off, the uh, new radiator fits quite nicely in the engine bay. Uh, there are no no clearance issues. It's not gonna hit the hood or you know Nothing crazy is gonna happen there uh, Might even be able to reuse the original upper hose uh, The thing is this one has uh, Two studs at the bottom uh, the original one had a single stud at the center So I'm going to have to fabricate um, a bracket to bolt to the front end of the car with two rubber bushings to hold these two studs in place 
and then I'll fab an upper mount for this top stud right here. And uh, as far as the water pump goes, uh, the fan is going to be, the electric fan is going to be mounted at the front. So as you can probably tell by how worn out and dirty I look, I just finished a whole load of fabrication, or at least it felt like it to me, because I'm still, you know, just starting at this, but I built uh, most of the bracket where the radiator, the new radiator will sit, um, and... Yeah, I just uh, have a few things to finish up tomorrow, and hopefully by tomorrow the new radiator will be all bolted in and plumbed in, and I'll be able to uh, start the car again. So I'll just uh, show the show you guys the bracket really quickly and uh, do a mock fit of the um, the radiator. So here it is, uh, radiator is, uh, it's got the steel bracket all around it, uh, it's got those two uh, L brackets that will bolt onto the frame, plus um, a welded bolt underneath, oh sorry, it's right here, focus damn you, there, there's a welded bolt underneath that will meet up to this hole that was for the previous radiator and just so the thing isn't a huge shaky mess I'll be using these uh, rubber bushings a bit of a tight fit which is a good thing but they will this is what will hold the radiator in place, so it should absorb quite a bit of vibration. And, uh, well, that's it for today. Um, I will post another update tomorrow, and hopefully I have the radiator uh, in the car and all ready to go.